Welcome to Animal Skin Tanning Services Limited. This is how you tan animal skins. You can tan all sorts of skins with this process. Sheep skins, as you can see there. Possum skins and make a great bedspread or cushions. Calf skins. Any sort of skin really. It's very easy to do if you follow this process. It's a mountain goat, tar skin. Deer skins. even goat skins. So come with me and follow this quick excerpt of how to do the tanning process. First of all we have to soak back the skin. It'll either be salted or frozen. We do this using various chemicals. This particular skin is a deer skin, although this process can be used on other types of skins as well. After many years of experience, this is the best process that I've come up with using the best chemicals for anybody to try and use to give you the best result. Once the skin's rehydrated, we have to get the flesh and the meat off it using a blunt knife or a blunt fleshing tool like I'm doing here. Then it has to go back in and get degreased to get as much grease out of the skin as possible so the tanning chemicals penetrate properly later on. Using detergents and other chemicals, this will draw the grease out and give you a great final result. You can see here how clean the skin is and how much grease is coming out of it. And this is an important stage of the process. But if you buy the DVD at the end of this, this clip, you will see that you get this whole DVD in more detail, showing you exactly what needs to be done. This is the next stage of the process called pickling. The skin is in this solution for a few days and this whole process probably takes about a week to do. This is a very easy process and takes very little time. In total it's probably only one hour's worth of work. You get the skin from one solution where it will sit for a few days before moving on to the next stage. So anyone can do it and it doesn't take up a lot of your time. Once the skin's been in that solution for a few days, we take it out and then we put on the main tanning solution. We do this by brushing it on and it soaks into the hide. This is where the really main tanning part of the process takes part. But if you haven't got the early stages done right, then your final result is not going to work out well either. Then we put a softening oil on it, brushing it on and waiting for it to soak in over the space of a couple of days. And once it's all in, then we dry the skin out. Here we are tacking it out on a board just to get it to dry and to set the shape of the skin. This is important too so the skin lies nice and flat on your floor when you've finished it. Once the skin's dry we give it a bit of a cosmetic tidy up with something like a sander like I'm doing here just to make it take all the rough stuff off that you've missed taking off at an earlier point or you can use a wire brush or something like that just to help make it look a bit nicer on the back although you're not going to see this part when it's on your floor so we take it off the board just taking those tacks out give it a trim up a pair of scissors to make it a nice shape soften it with their hands just rubbing it back and forward to help break up those fibers so it comes out nice and soft and then the last stage of the process is just to give it a bit of a brush up tidy up the hair and like I said this can be for any sort of, of any sort of skin and this is essentially the process in a short format that's how tanning works and it'll give you a durable long-lasting result and what's important here is that this particular process with my chemicals and my comprehensive DVD on how to do it will give you a fantastic result. 